everybody. I got a box of samples right here. This was sent to me actually from, well, the box I'm using is from Mercedes-Benz Parfums when they sent me Woman in Red. But, so I put all the, all the samples that were given to me inside this box and I have tried a ton of these. And to be honest, let me give you an example. Like, uh, it's a Libre de Orange. This is a niche fragrance house. And to be honest, they're, they sent, well, Twisted Lily sent me 20 of their fragrances. And there was not a single one that I found to be full bottle worthy. When I tried this months ago, okay, it was a house that I tried maybe three, four months ago. And it just didn't grip me. I didn't find them like fun to wear, not even fun, but just like enjoyable to wear. And I did like that they were bold and they had character, you know what I mean? Um, and I know that my nose wasn't as developed back then as it is now, so maybe I can revisit it, but still it wasn't, when I was testing it on skin and then also on test strips, it was just very so-so, you know what I mean? And usually, I think that's why I say it's very important to sample fragrances or if you wanna test it at Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus, anything like that, I would suggest you do that before blind buying because I mean, you can get a box of samples with whatever you want and there's probably going to be only like one or two that you find that you really enjoy that you want to put in your collection. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's see what else there is here. There is, oh yeah, Thierry Mugler's Pure Havan. I, I talked about this a while back before, but this fragrance also didn't do it for me. For some reason, I just don't like how synthetic the cherry is in this fragrance. It's not really smooth um, with the tobacco. It just kind of put me off a little bit, you know? So it wasn't my personal favorite. However, I know a ton of people like this one. Let's grab another one without looking and see if I've tried it. Oh, this one has no name on it. <laughs> but that, I know that blue one, that was recently sent to me. This is Memo, African leather. Yes, I love this fragrance right here. So I would say I've tested maybe 70% of these fragrances. So if you want to see my videos on these, like you can look back on my channel, but for the most part, a lot of the ones here, like Red Tobacco by Mancera, I don't personally like, but I know a lot of guys like to wear this. This is just one of those scents to me that guys will enjoy on other guys, but girls kind of find a little bit off-putting because it's like a bit too masculine to a point where it's like, Eh, you know what I mean? And that's just coming from a woman's perspective, okay? I know that if you're around your guy friends, they might be like, oh man, yeah, that smells good. That smells that smells manly, all that kind of stuff. But I don't know, when I've been around girls and this smell has been around, it's just kind of like, ew. Like that's that's not me saying it, but that's what other people said about that about this fragrance right here. It was just like, mm, I don't like it. It's like, a, they found it to be too much of a try harder to, you know, whatever. But again, these are people that, that you literally meet out on the street, you know what I mean? They're not versed in fragrances or anything like that, so I weren't a fan of that one. There's some by Atelier Cologne here. This is Lemon Island. I've tried this one in Clementine, California, Vanille and Sanse. I think I like Vanille and Sanse the, in Sanse the best, but it's just like, even I wouldn't get a full-size bottle of that one, just it's like a straight-up vanilla scent, and for me personally, I like my vanilla layered with something else at least just to kind of add something into the mix i don't want to just smell like straight up vanilla you know that's just me though ladies and gentlemen um oh i tried this a while ago new bottles candy cologne look how look i'm almost done with that one but yeah that's i just wanted to share this with you guys that this is pretty much where all the samples are when i test them and when i do my first impressions videos and things like that this is what i'm pulling from randomly and just telling you what I think about them but yeah for the most part it's it's all about trying what you want to try until you find the one that you really enjoy because I know that's that's the thing with fragrances at least for me it's hard to find a fragrance that I really really like which is why you hear me talk about kind of the like there's like three that I constantly use over and over again because I just can't get enough of those and for the most part that's how most people are, you know, they're not wearing a new scent every day when they find something they really vibe with. It's what they stick with sometimes for the rest of their life. So, yep, keep sampling, keep trying. Let me know what your newest fragrance obsession is in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.